Okay, so if you can hear me, we're on a recorded Zoom today, and usually um, we do the Margaret Fontana Media Podcast show on audio, but being that we've been in a pandemic and odd kind of um, couple of months, I wanted to reintroduce and connect again with everyone. And so with me today, I have Taylor Tagnaletti, um, the founder of the National Organization of Italian Americans in film and TV. I actually had to look down at that note because it's like, you know, there's like National Italian American. It's <laughs> there's so many words to it, but welcome. I'm so happy that we were able to finally connect. We've been chatting back and forth. And um, so Taylor, hi, how are you? Hi, thank you so much for having me. And yes, I know the name is so, so long. <laughs> I love it. So um, even I have trouble remembering it sometimes. Yeah. So, uh, but thank you for saying the full title. If it's easier for anyone, you could just say NOIA is our little acronym. I love <laughs> it. So Taylor, um, I connected with you recently because I saw that you had just recently um, founded the group, um, your organization. And so I wanted to kind of introduce people to what you're doing and kind of give everybody the overview. This is related to the film industry. Or have you talk about what is the organization about and a little bit about you and kind of how that came together? Sure. Well, the organization really connects Italian Americans um, to, you know, empower them to achieve their goals and, you know, the artistic field and film and television specifically. I really started it because um, I had received so much and I still am receiving so much generous support from the Italian American community. Um, in high school and in college, I received um, two generous scholarships from the Columbus Citizens Foundation. And I actually wrote in my essays that I always wanted to start something like this, you know, when I would become successful enough, um, you know, because I just think that there's so many, you know, people that want to break out into this industry, but it's just that like you're one connection away from, you know, X, Y, Z happening from you and seeing, you know, how they had supported me. I said, you know, why can't we do this for, you know, film and television? So, you know, I went through college and I wound up, you know, really because I was inspired by the scholarship wanting to explore my Italian heritage more. And I got, um, a scholarship from scholarship per se from uh, NIAF, the National Italian American Foundation. I went on a trip to Italy. I'd never been to Italy before. It's for students who'd never, um, you know, yeah. been there. And I just it opened my eyes up to you know just how much I don't know. And not only is you know thinking about like how many opportunities maybe Italian Americans don't have in the industry, but also like how many stories that like we're not exposed to. So when I came back from that trip a couple months later, I was really just saying like, what is stopping me from doing this right now? Like, I, why do I have to wait till I'm like a Martin Scorsese or someone to do this? And so I just had my, one of my best friends, he's a, a web designer. And I said, look, I want to do this. You're going to help me. <laughs> and he did. And, you know, it really just started like that. And just a couple weeks later, I had a website and I started okay. recruiting and now it's a year and a half later. <laughs> so what, what is the mission of the organization? You know, so it's Italian Americans in film and TV and, and it's a great way for people to kind of get together. But like, what do you, what do you foresee as like the ultimate goal for the, for the organization? Yeah. I mean, I, I think, and this has always been, um, you know, the goal is just connecting people and it's very much like what you do in your group too. And I think that, you know, once one person has some sort of success it's everybody's success mm -hmm. and that's really like what my goal is is that you know you help this person that person helps you and then it's a domino effect of people helping each other and whether that's you know on a small project or a larger scale project um and we have people that are already established in the group and who are just starting out and also like when i do interviews you know i kind of am making these connections so that one day I have enough, you know, connections within, you know, in really, truly like Hollywood that they can say, oh, hey, like, this is a great group. I know yep. that they have this number of cinematographers, these actors, like, I'd like to go to right. this group and find my talent. So anybody, uh, anybody can join the group though, right? So it's like, if I go to your website and, um, you know, I, I, I did it, I'm, I'm in the directory now, but anyone can basically go and join, right? 
Yeah, no, it's it's for absolutely anybody. And while I say, you know, it's a group for Italian Americans, like I would never ever like deny someone because they're not Italian American. You know, so many people are interested in Italian American cinema and Italian culture. I have people that, you know, are genealogy experts or historians right. that just want to contribute and help, you know, right. never know what kind of film an Italian is <laughs> gonna make and who you might yeah. you know, come across to help. So yeah. you know, I never deny anyone and it's completely free. Like I don't charge anything for a membership, and that was important to me because i would received so much you know support you know financially right. um so yeah that's that's really that's, that's really great cool. so i was looking at a bunch of things that you did and so it looks like you've gone to like all the the great um film festivals i saw that you went to tribeca and you were like on the red carpet doing your thing so um tell me a little bit about like that and like how does somebody get to how does someone get there you know i mean that's the million dollar question well it's actually two questions how do you get there how do you attend those types of of film festivals higher level film festivals and like do you have to did you have to go to film school to be like a filmmaker or a documentary person or anybody in production so it's like two questions, but it's part of that big bubble. Yeah. Well, I, so I was still in, I was in my junior year of college when I founded this. So <laughs> I'm really, really young, <laughs> but I might, I'll tell you my friend, um, he had been to the Tribeca Film Festival the year before. And initially when I had started this, I had no uh, intentions of, any doing press like that was just not something that I ever like thought I could even do right um so I I had told my friend you know like about my organization he's like oh you should go to Tribeca and I was like oh the deadline passed and he said you know I just got an email about it you know I'll I'll get you you know I'll get you the application like a little late in so I was like okay like and he's just you know my age so um then, you know, like a week later, I was approved and I just was shocked because my organization hadn't even existed for a year yet. You know, it was only just a couple months. So, um, yeah, so that was really it. And I was just, you know, I had done the work to build up like enough of a following to show like you have to show like social media followers and things like that. And, you know, you have to submit a press kit and stuff like that. So, you know, I had done like some of the like initial work to like earn my spot on the carpet. Like it wasn't just because he, you know, yeah, right. the person. Oh, yeah. You, yeah. It's like you got to do the work. And yeah, that's, that's yeah. important. That's important to say because a lot of people, you know, either want someone to hook them up with something or someone or do you have that email, that phone number. But I think it's important to say like the work has to get done. You have to put in the time and the effort. Making a press media kit um, or whatever documentation or collateral you had to make, I mean, you probably had to sit at your computer and be like, oh my God, I've never made one before. How do I do it? <laughs> you know, let me, yeah, you know, let me find the way. It truly was. It truly was exactly that. And I just had kind of been at the right place at the right time, you know, yeah. kind of thing where he, I mean, if I didn't even tell him about it, I wouldn't, like, I can't imagine my organization now not having that press outlet element. Like, it's so much of, like, what I'm doing, yeah. like, on the daily with social media. Um, so, yeah, and then, like, a week after that, I was at Tribeca. Like, I didn't even have time to find a crew. Like, I just had, you know, I, I asked my brother to come and be, like, my crew. It was just, it just happened like that. I love that. So, I, love I mean, we did, like, we were there for two weeks. I think I had done, like, 30 interviews and that was not something that like I had experience in like I, I'd made like documentaries before and short films but that was just not something that like I was used to and I was so like overwhelmed by like the amount of access that I was getting you know like yeah just, you know I just applied and then I got so excited by it afterwards that I just said like wow like I can't believe like I just talked to Christoph Waltz like I just talked to like one of my favorite actors and you know like you just Amazing. can't really believe it and then I said oh this is like an angle that I don't even like I'm not even aware of it's that exciting. like I can do so then I just <laughs> I kind of just started doing interviews and like applying to all the big film festivals like the New York Film Festival I went to last September I, I was like one of the I was like one of the first people to see the Irishman like it was the first screening of the Irishman I just right. I couldn't believe it like you watch those movies growing up with like those are Italian American icons and you say like wow, I'm here watching this for my organization about Italian Americans. So 
yeah, it just, you know, you kind of just have to take advantage and like when you see something like that is available to you and not everyone's going to have that experience where you're just going to say like, oh, like that's just yeah. something I could do. Like you have to just say, wow, like what, like what is my network like and what can I, you know, take advantage? Like once you see those things, you just right. have to kind of run with it because not everyone gets that, you know, that chance. And so now I'm, I have, you know, colleagues and people that do interviews for me and write reviews. My my good friend uh, Joe Crisofulli, he's we have a chief entertainment critic now. That's him. And I had met him at um, the Open Roads Film Festival, which is an Italian film festival they have every year at Lincoln Center. And I just had met him online. And I don't speak Italian, unfortunately, but he speaks fluent Italian. So he just came and he spoke to all the filmmakers in Italian. And then like now we're like the best of friends. And you know he's just always, you know, helping me with my organization. And that's just how things happen. I think that's just like in life in, you know, but in was this career. the event at the Paley Center? Is that, is that who we're talking about? The Open Roads Film Festival? That's at, um, that's at Lincoln Center. That's at Lincoln Center every year in June, I think. Um, they didn't have it this year because of the pandemic. Yeah. But, um, yeah, they have, it's like but all the best amazing. time films. Yeah. So it's, it's just, and we actually covered Tribeca, um, virtually this year which was like the like the craziest thing and um you know I was happy we were able to do that so and you know it's nice you know we covered like we were talking before like we don't just you know keep it limited to Italian American stuff like we made sure that because this is the pandemic that we were gonna bring up films just to support films because of this time like as filmmakers we want to support other filmmakers if we liked it from our group you know we were gonna you know spotlight those so and one of the filmmakers wrote us a really nice like note saying like how thoughtful my friend Joe wrote his review and how much it like connected with him and things like that. That just makes me like so happy that like this is like what I'm doing it for, you know, like to connect with that's, people and yeah, it's that's like everything. Like that. <laughs> and that and that's you know, in my opinion, I think that's how you succeed, you know, like you succeed by um by being authentic. And I think that's that's where, that's where you and I connected, you know, because I saw what you were doing and I'm just like, and, and you're, you're right. You're super young because you're, you're just out of school and like, you're getting all these things together. So it's like, this is the formula for success. Like it's, you know, it's putting yourself out there. It's putting in the time, putting in the work, connecting with people. And I think, I think those are the things that like often we don't hear about, or you're not really taught that if someone does go to film school, um, you know, I went to school for uh, radio and television production, which no one really says like, oh, it's about connecting. It's about business. It's about your relationships. I think it, number one, it's about relationships across the board. And it doesn't matter what business we're talking about. You know, it's always about relationships and it's about just like being good and doing good, you know? And I think, yeah. I think that's where, that's where like, you know, everything comes to fruition. That's where like the good, the good stuff comes. And so, um, so moving forward for you and the organization, what, where do you see yourself going with this? And, and like, do you have any projects that you're working on personally um, just to kind of like round out our conversation a little bit more um, on the future of the organization? Sure. Well, to answer your question before, because I know I didn't answer it, I don't think you need film school at all <laughs> to yeah. succeed. Um, I think that it certainly can if it works for you it works for you but I think like I was saying it's all about the relationships and like you were saying like it's just everything yeah. is relationship oriented it's about you know meeting and 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 like you said being genuine like I'm at this point where like I'm doing people favors by writing them you know writing and you know doing an interview for them and I could come back later and say like hey I interviewed you can you help me with this project I'm trying yeah. to produce and that's something that I always noticed was like missing when you ask someone for a favor it's it's like they're doing you the favor but if you start off by doing the favor and that's really like I'm start I start an organization I'm not saying that it's like in like a this is beneficial to me. I'm saying that it becomes mutually beneficial. Like everything yeah, I'm doing, you're giving. You're, you're giving. Yeah, you I'm giving in order to receive. It comes right? back. It all comes back. Like and that, and I'm and I'm doing it from like a genuine place of and and again, like I paid it forward. You know, from getting support. It's funny. Like I mentioned, the two organizations that um you know had given me that support. Now I'm making videos for the Columbus Citizens Foundation. Like it's really you know full circle. So. um yeah, so that was my answer to that question. Now, where we're going, I mean, there's just, I have so many dreams about where we're going. One, I really <laughs> do. Good, 
you know, no, it's good. It, no, I, I, I feel like I just want to be that go-to, um, like resource for, you know, people that are Italian American making films that they just know that this is, you know, this is out there and that this is where you should go to, you know, assemble your team. Right. And again, like I said, with like the higher level people, you know, in the industry that they can just, you know, say, Hey, this is, this is a great group of people. They're established. And, you know, I'm not going to have any qualms putting them, you know, on a, you know, higher level of production. And then also with like the outlet angle, like, again, I want to be that go-to resource for like all things, you know, you want to read about Italian American cinema, Italian cinema and all that. Um, and then you had another question. I, it escaped me. What was the well, last <laughs> Are you working? Yeah. The last question I guess was, are you working on any personal films? Like, do you, are you involved in something or do you foresee yourself doing some kind of documentary in the near future? Yeah, you know what, you'll, you'll love this, uh, this little tidbit of information, but, um, so, I'm, I don't know if you're familiar with the, the Russo Brothers grant that is provided through NIAF, um, but one of, um, the members of my organization had won that grant, and she had followed, she had, like, followed my account because NIAF shared some, an interview I did, and so then I wound up just seeing her stuff, and, you know, I just thought it was great. And then like, you know, a couple hours later, I saw she signed up for, for my group. So I said, oh, like, let's, let's meet up. But like, I think you're really cool. She's a comic director. Her name is Michaela M. Smith. So we met up and then she, you know, showed me her film. And I thought it was great. And she had already presented it at the gala. Um, Isabella Rossellini's in it. It's about Italian American gardening. And it, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, really yeah. Okay. Are you yeah. that one? I, I've seen, I've seen tidbits because I thought, you know, I uh, obviously, you know, you and I follow like the same threads, and yeah. stuff, but yeah. yeah, yes, I saw that looks amazing. Yeah. So we kind of, you know, she wanted to get the film through post-production, the film festivals. So we met in, I think it was like uh, February and we've been working on it throughout the pandemic. And actually after this phone call, I have to call her up because we're going to launch our you know, the campaign for like the remaining funds that we need. So I love it. Yeah, it's just like things like that where it's just like, okay, well, the connection from the NIAF, and then you know, she came there, and then now I'm helping someone in my organization, you know, like, and then like, now we're really great friends, and, you know, that's hopefully awesome. you know, we'll collaborate on other things. And again, like, that's just how it happens. You just have to be open to open. that happening, you know, right. like, and that's, and that's, that's really, you, there's so many people that, like, don't want to network, and you know, that's more important than yeah. anything you could ever do um in filmmaking yeah. it's less about talent i know this is like cliche it's so much less about talent than like you just being out there and like being open and wanting wanting it badly enough that you're willing to put yourself out there and like i have to learn too like probably i would like last year maybe i wouldn't have like done like a podcast or something because like i'm not I like, I don't like, I don't like talking like, you know, about myself, but like now I'm like, I gotta talk about myself. I like talking about other things. Cause you know, you were a talent. Yeah. But you know, like now it's like, if you don't show that you're like doing it, you have to show like, right. no one's going to just, now people are coming to me. And that's like what I really like about this is that like, I don't have to go out there and like, you know, start, you know, hustling as much. Now people like find the organization on their own and you know. I yeah. Can, yeah. And that's, and that's like, and that's part of, you know, like I said to you too, we, we had a pre-conversation before this, but it's really about knowing how to use all the tools too. It's like, you have social media, you have digital and like all these things have connected people so much more. Yes. Um, and obviously over the last couple of months, because we've all been like quarantined, everybody's been inside. We didn't really get out until now. So I think it's like, you know, in the world of like, if we're talking about like media and how all those tools are being used to keep you connected, right? It's like you kind of fast forwarded like a lot in the last couple of months because you're almost like forced to create more. So people are starting to look more at what you're doing. And I think, I think that's like the beauty of, you know, like I also said, this was an opportunity, you know, like the pandemic is bad. Yes. I hope it gets better. Yes. I want like everyone to be healthy. Yes. But at the same time, there's some like hidden opportunities inside of it because it's forced us to almost go back to the basics of networking, connecting, creating, 
you know, and I think, um, and I think that's good. I think, and, um, you know, I am just fascinated by what you're doing. I'm like, you know, I don't want to sound like big sisterish, but like, I'm proud of what you're doing. Um, you know, when I first reached out to you, I was like, hi, you know, this is who I am. You know, I, <laughs> this is what I've done. And, uh, I think we have a lot in common. And even though like generationally, like, you know, we're, we're, obviously in different generations but um you know i just think it's cool like i think there's so much going on and um as a fellow filmmaker you know i think i think the future is very bright you know so i want to thank you so much for taking the time we had some technical difficulties you know why wouldn't we it's just the way of the world now um <laughs> but thank you so much and then like you know if anybody's interested in in learning more or talking more taylor and i can you know do a live maybe down the road on Instagram or Facebook and do like a live Q and a to talk about questions in film. Cause really there's a million questions and it's exciting. It's fascinating. And nobody gives away the information and sometimes You're they right. do. Right. Nobody gives away the information. And that's, what's important to me. It's like, it's just sharing that knowledge. Like people don't, you know, like even when I'm doing like interviews, like I could do them like, if I talk to someone on the phone before having this organization, like that knowledge is only going to me. When I do an interview, you know, people are getting like that experience just from like reading, yep. you know, something. And then like it's shared widely. Like that's what I lo really started loving about doing interviews besides just like it being a way to promote someone's project. But that like the people reading it can be extremely valuable. Like I started tailoring my questions to like knowing like what do people want to know about like how to make a film and I mean, there's so many great examples of that. And like you were saying, like taking advantage of this time, like I, I counted right before I did this, like I did 12 interviews like during this pandemic, like in addition to like 8,000 other things, like we did like a fun, we, someone reached out to us for like a fundraising event and like a, Cana a Canadian filmmaker reached out to us and we, we raised money for the Red Cross. Like that's not something like I ever thought like I'd, you know, someone would just reach out to me for, yeah. and, you know, it's just so many it's great. great, great things. But if people really want to connect, you know, they go on our website, www.noyaf.org. We've got some great interviews. We've got Dion this week was amazing. We have, uh, Julie Pacino was another recent one. Uh, we just have so many, um, you know, great resources on the website. And again, it's free. It's completely free. And if you don't want to join, you can follow us on social media. But uh, we we'll take everybody. <laughs> I'm going to link, I'm going to link everything up in, in the post and uh, I'm going to share this in our filmmaker group. I'm going to share it with my Italian American. I'm at Italian American girl.com. Um, Fontana media podcast show and there's market Fontana media, which is like the umbrella, but right. That's what we do. We build, we're the building umbrella. this media empire. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So thank you again, Taylor. And, um, you know, can't, can't even like express the excitement of getting to know you and um you know this is fun this is like i love to say it's fun like this is fun to me so we'll definitely is, let's do an instagram lot let's do a live at some point because i think that'll be cool and we can like get and, and, I, and again i do think you know you and i do have this you know natural camaraderie and you know connection as well so uh yeah. i love it i love it so you know anytime i'm out and uh let me know how i'll promote it on yeah uh, my page too so that we could you know do some cross promo for you as well absolutely and um okay so hopefully you know hopefully we're we're gonna be you know back in the city and attending events again very soon hopefully you know in the next couple of months and 2021 might be the year for everyone will be it absolutely will be i'm certain of it <laughs> yes so okay thank you again and we'll talk soon and uh ciao ci vediamo ciao and thank you again for for thinking of me really yes thanks taylor <laughs> talk to you soon. bye, bye.